Today we're going to learn the treble crochet or triple crochet as it's sometimes called. Treble crochet is a really tall stitch, so you're often going to see it used in loose and lacy things. To begin, make a slip knot and then chain 13 stitches. You will need three more stitches than the number of stitches that you want to have. In this case, we want 10 stitches, so we're going to chain 13 stitches. Now that I have my 13 stitches, I can start my treble crochet. I'm probably going to say triple or treble crochet interchangeably here, so just know that they are the same thing. So to make a triple crochet, we're going to start in the fifth chain from the hook. So let's locate that first. Here's your first chain and let's count down. One, two, three, four, and five. I just like to go into the back half of the chain here on the first row. Now to actually make our treble crochet, you're going to start with two yarn over. So yarn over one, yarn over two, just like the name implies a triple uh, crochet has starts with um, three loops on your hook. Okay, so now let's find that fifth stitch again. One, two, three, four, and five. Go ahead and dive into that stitch and pull up a loop, and you have four loops on your hook. Now you're just gonna yarn over and pull through two until you're back to one. So yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two a second time. Yarn over, pull through two a third time and that completes your treble crochet. So what we have here is a chain, four chains that count as our first stitch, and a treble crochet. We should have eight chains left to make 10 total stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight there on the end. So let's keep making our treble crochets across. Yarn over twice, dive into that next stitch and pull up a loop, you should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two until you get back to one stitch. Keep repeating those triple slash treble crochets all the way until you are almost at the end and we will talk about that. I have arrived at my last chain here. I'm just gonna check real quick to make sure I have nine stitches and that that last chain will be my 10th. So my first stitch is this chain four here, and then I have my second stitch, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So let's yarn over twice, go into that last stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, until we're back to one. And you should have 10 triple crochets. Now to start the next row, go ahead and chain four. and then turn clockwise around so that we are ready to work the next row. Now, since we're using our chain to count as a stitch, we are not going to start in this first stitch here. We are going to skip this first stitch. Then we're going to work in each of the next, I believe, eight, and our last stitch will be the chain from the previous row. So let's go ahead and do that. So yarn over twice. We're gonna skip those four chains plus our first stitch, and we're gonna dive into the second stitch here. Yarn over, pull through two until you're back to one. And now we've already started our row with two stitches. The four chains are our first stitch. You can see we skipped this stitch here to accommodate for that and we have one triple crochet. So we've actually got two stitches. So now continue to make your triple slash treble crochets across and meet me at the chain at the end of the row. I'm at the end of the row. I have one stitch remaining plus my chain to go in. So I'm gonna do my triple crochet in that last stitch. And I should have nine stitches now, so let's count. My chain is one, man, dog hair everywhere. My chain is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. To do this last stitch, we're gonna go into the chain. So I'm looking at the back of the chain now, or the butts, as I sometimes call them. I see one, two, three, and four. I wanna go into my top one. I wanna go right there so that I'm getting the butt and I'm getting half of the stitch. So yarn over twice. 
And then let's go ahead and dive in right there. Get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and dive in right there into the top of our turning chain, that fourth one. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You should have four. And yarn over, pull through two until we are back to one stitch. And that completes our second row. Now you're just gonna repeat the previous row until you get to your desired length. So chain four, turn clockwise, yarn over twice, and then we're gonna skip the four chains and the first stitch, since our chain counts as our stitch, and go into the second stitch here. Go ahead and finish that. We've got two stitches to start and eight more to go, and I will meet you again at the end of the row. I'm at my last two stitches again, the last, the last uh, triple crochet and the chain. So yarn over twice to go into that last triple treble. It's not a triple treble, but it's a triple slash treble. Triple treble is another stitch. And then I'm gonna go into the top of my chain. So again, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go into that top turning chain right there below the butt, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two until one stitch remains. That is all there is to it, to the triple slash treble crochet. As you can see, it's a nice tall stitch, very, very loose. If you love working this triple crochet slash treble crochet, you might want to look at some patterns that have this in it. I will link a couple of mine below that you might find a lot of fun. So for now, thank you so, so much for participating in the basic crochet series, and I hope to have you back very soon.